Okay, I'm going to give a brief overview of my what I've been working on. This is a Wise Cam. It's an indoor, you know, like security camera or video camera. It's got a good picture. They're, they used to cost like twenty dollars. This is a Wise Cam version two. <clears throat> And I don't know if any things I'm going to talk about will work with the newest Wise Cams, but it works with this model. And um, there's an SD card in here on the bottom. <clears throat> so basically, what what I did was I got on a website where they have a hacked version of the operating system for this, and you put it on the SD card, and you you do a process to load that onto the camera. Then you put the operating system again on the SD card. Anyway, you get that all set up. It's all documented on the website. And then, um, then it, it run, it, you power it by this micro SD card. So it runs on 5 volts. Not micro SD card, the micro SD cable. Like you'd have for a cell phone. And I'm going to plug that in now. I'm trying to show how this all works. This is my uh, router web page. And these are all the devices that are hooked up to my router right now. And there, it just came up. This. So here's the Fang. And this is its web address. These are showing all the devices on my router right now. So I'm going to go to that IP address. Because this is talking on Wi-Fi to the router. This is its name, the Fang. So I go to that address, which I will do right here. I haven't logged into it yet, so I'll log in. Using my password, automatic password filling. There. Point this at me for a minute. Hi. And then I will point this at the Raspberry Pi. This Raspberry Pi here is what this Wise Cam is going to send its files to when motion's detected. This it, this Raspberry Pi single board computer here has Open Media Vault, which is a program that works like a server, stored server. And this um, flash drive is the one I'm just using right now to experiment with. So this this flash drive is what will store the videos that that this sends over. I'll just point this. Wise cam down at my wiring mess here. There it's got my keyboard. The little red light here shows that motion's detected. And so it's sending its files out. Hopefully, I can see them now on the Windows computer. Okay, so the way this worked is this is talking to the router on Wi-Fi and this is talking to the router on Wi-Fi this is Linux and this is a version of Linux and this and it's talking to the router now my computer is plugged into the router which is Windows and this is the Raspberry Pi right here these are the folders in the shared folder from this that the windows can see. And so this one here, the thing is the click on that. And these are all the videos that it just sent over since I turned it on. There's another one you can see just filled in. Every time there's motion it sends these files over. So I can click on one of these, maybe the first one, Let's see what it shows. It'll open up Windows Media Vault. There it is when I first turned it on. It's sideways. 
Let's see how long it lasts. So this is the uh, video that it saved on the computer. It's got the timestamp on it. Okay, that one ended. I don't know. There must be a limit to how long a clip it takes. I haven't figured that out. But the next clip here probably picks up where that one stopped. Let's see. Go to open media. Go to VLC. I'm re watching these on VLC media player. And now there's where I probably turned that camera sideways to take a picture of me. Yep, there's my ceiling. Okay, now that one quit. I just got this going last night. So let's take the third one. The third one in the list. Let's see if it continues on. Go down here to this. Showing a blank because I'm fiddling around with the camera. So... I did a little bit of learning to do and figure out the bugs on this, but it works. Sort of. Click on this one and see what we get. Okay, and there's the picture of the keyboard. Anyway, you get the idea. So I'm going to put this. This camera. I have a little uh, auxiliary, auxiliary case. An add-on case that I got. It's going to fit in here. And it'll weatherproof it some. Got a mount on it. I'm going to put it outside on a, on a remote solar system. And then hopefully it keeps on working. So basically that's kind of how it works. Oh, open media vault. That's the, uh, that's the Pi. And that has its own web page too. This is it. I'll log into that. Hopefully I did the right one. And there we go. And this is a whole learning experience to get this Open Media Vault program going. Now this this is the Raspberry Pi. It's it's web page. So I had to set up all this stuff on here. Users and this is the Samba files, the SMB files at the Windows computer can see and that the video camera can send its files to. So there's all kinds of stuff on here, all kinds of settings you got to set up. And it's all geeky networking stuff. And it took me hours to figure it out with some help from Lee, Tim. I finally did it. So going back to the Fang camera web page. It's showing nothing now because I flipped it upside down. Um, it has all these settings here built into that program. See, you can turn the uh, turn all these things on and off on it, and it's got more settings up here. And this is what took me hours to do was this. Getting this set up right, and this little Samba storage. It took me lots of time to figure that out. It's got local storage, which is for the SD card. And it's got, uh, you can set up FTP, which I haven't conquered yet. But maybe I don't even need to. So there's all these different ways for it to talk to talk to this Raspberry Pi here I'm just scratching the surface of all these things but I got it done I worked best at between like 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. seems to be when I get all these things figured out anyway that's an overview of my my thing I'll probably pick up a video show when I mount it outside on the mobile solar cart so here's how this goes into the case this goes in here, and the lid's going to go on, like so. Screw that in, and then it's, there it is. Those little lights on there are the infrared LEDs so it can see it in the dark. Or it lights up the dark some. So 
so I'm gonna go and then I have the mount already mounted outside that'll screw in here the sun's out life is good again in Wisconsin it's warm we're going up to that solar cart out in the field there mobile solar cart see it I'm gonna walk up there and mount the wise cam mobile solar cart I made just a couple solar panels on an old bicycle kit carrier cart and I'll give a brief overview of how this works there's the battery down under there this in this plastic container is a Linksys router which is connected to this antenna which feeds its signal back to my other router inside they're linked together and in here is the controller this is the solar controller it takes the power from the panels charges the battery and then uh, the battery is hooked up to these fuses and this stuff here this little port here is a converter, converts 12 volts from the battery to 5 volts. It's a USB adapter that I'm going to plug the camera into. The camera is going to mount on this thing, which I already have mounted. I'll just screw that on. Okay, the camera's mounted on its bracket and the power cord. It's going into here, it's powered up with the 5 volts, so it's on now. Of course, it's talking on Wi-Fi to this router that's buried in there. My weatherproofing container for the router. So that's how this mobile cart works for now. Oh, I also have uh, in this, I have a ESP32, um, ESP8266. And then I have three temperature sensors on. It's a BME 280. Does uh, pressure, temperature, humidity. This one's a um, 22. It does temperature and humidity. And this one's a there's a DHT-22, couldn't remember the name. There's a DHT-11, it doesn't work down as cold, but it also does temperature and humidity. So it's kind of an experiment. So this, this ESP-8266, all these sensors are connected to this. This talks to Wi-Fi to that router I just showed. And then it has its own web page too, that I can see inside. And I got this old, telephone company box here which makes a nice weatherproof container I had an antenna for something but I'm not using that right now so that's the solar cart set up little get some power out here in the middle of the field it's kind of for experiments right now but if the camera works you know it's like gives me another view I want to see what animals run around here at night it's all set up on motion. I guess I can, this is the view that the camera's gonna see. Okay, I'm back inside. This is my computer screen here. This is the video from the camera I just put up. That's the view it's seeing. And if I go down to the files, these are all the files that it uploaded already, or some of them. So I click on this one here. And I'm going to play it in the VLC Media Player. This is one of them saved while I was up there, after I plugged it in. You can see it's pretty good video quality. This is probably when I was showing the ESP8266 and 
and uh, just before I walked back down the trail. Pretty cool. So it works. I have to fiddle around with settings on this. Uh, there's all kinds of settings on the on this thing that I need to figure out how to if it'll take longer videos, save longer ones. You can see there's all these setup, all these setup things here. I need to figure out motion timeout. I don't understand this. It's set for one. I set it for one. It was set for minus one. Uh, sensitivity. And this is to activate it. This is to put that little red uh, LED on the corner of the screen when I was videoing. Or when it's recording. I'll play this again. There. See the red. That just puts that red dot on there when it's recording. So if I'm looking at a live one. And I see that red dot on. I know it's recording. I'll go back to the live feed. Go to this one. And it's the live feed. No red dot. So it's not recording. And this program, this hacked version, you can do other things. I guess the main reason you, to use this instead of uh, just a regular wise cam, you know, with all theirs, is that you kind of have control. It's not, you don't have to pay for their server service. And uh, you have, it goes on your own server, you have control of it. But I tell you, it's a lot easier just using the regular wise cam because they have a legion of engineers that works out all the bugs that might be in the system and you just pay 12 or 20 dollars a year to sort in their servers it's easier than figuring out how to set this thing up so you got to be a geeky nerd or whatever like to stay up late at night to do this yourself anyway so far so good oh and i should say the new wise cams you don't need that they have a new version version 3 this is a version uh, 2 wise cam. And the version 3s that you get now are all weatherproofed. You don't need that case I put on. But I don't know if you can hack the version 3s. I don't know if that's possible. So, have fun.